We're in Windows Server 10, and I'm going to show you how to install a point-to-point -point tunneling protocol VPN server, which is the easiest and quickest type of client-to-site VPN server there is. So let's go ahead and go into our server manager, and we will click on Add Roles and Features. From here, we'll click Next. Go ahead and choose the default role-based, and choose Next. All right, we'll go with our only server that we have in here and choose Next. And what we're going to do is go down to where it says Remote Access under Server Roles. So go ahead and click that button. And Next. These are the features. We can just leave those as they are. Next. Next. All right, so here is the area that you can uh, check some you have some different options if you want to turn the server into a router you would check that a proxy you would check this button but we're going to choose uh, VPN so when you click that button go ahead and choose to add the features along with it and choose next next we're going to leave the default here and go next and install now this part could take anywhere from a few seconds to several minutes it just depends on how fast your computer is. In this case we're in a virtual machine and we've given a certain amount of resources to it so uh, hopefully it won't take too long. Okay that took about five minutes to complete and we'll go ahead and click close. Now if we click on the little triangle at the top you'll see that uh, we have the options for opening and getting started wizard. Let's go ahead and click on that. Alright, so we have some options here. We can deploy direct access and VPN, direct access, or just VPN. We're going to do just the VPN at this time. Alright, so there's the name of our server, so now we need to actually turn it on. So you see the red square there. Let's go ahead and right-click on it and choose Configure and Enable Routing and Remote Access. Wizard pops up. Go ahead and click Next. And here's where a lot of people mess up. So don't choose the remote access v dial up or VPN. Choose custom configuration. Otherwise, it, turn, it may turn uh, natty on, which will make your server unreachable internally. So go ahead and click next. Choose VPN access, and that's it. Next, and finish. Now it's going to ask us if we want to start. We, of course, we do want to start. So let's go ahead and click the start button. And now the routing and remote access is kicking up. So we're almost done, just a couple more steps. Let's go ahead and expand that. All right, so now what we can do is right click on the server and go to properties and we can make some changes if you want. For instance, you can go to security and you can change uh, authentication to radius, which I don't recommend. We're just trying to set up a simple VPN. If you have a certificate installed on the server, you can go ahead and choose the certificate uh, at the bottom. That would be installed through IIS and then it will show up in this particular area. If you go to IP4, if you don't have a DHCP server or you want to statically assign them through the static pool, uh, it'd still, it'd still be dynamic to the client, but it would be a static pool on this end. Then you can click on the static address pool and you can add it here. Otherwise, it will just use DHCP if you have a DHCP server. And we have a similar thing with IP version 6, although most people aren't using that yet. Uh, Ike version 2 is, uh, is there's some timeout air areas here. Ike version 2 is great over really slow connections. It uh, doesn't time out as quickly as other types of VPNs, so you can certainly choose that if you want and uh, set the different timeouts as well. Uh, point to point, and you have multi link connections. If, you have, if you're doing any kind of dial up, that kind of thing, then that'll help. Most people don't do that anymore, however. And then here is the logging area as well. When you're all done, just go ahead and click Apply, and now you're ready on the client end to connect to uh, the remote access server, and we'll do, set that up in a different video.